So this week has been a really quiet week when it comes to looking at mortgage and property news and things that are going on in the UK housing market. The only thing that we've been able to really report this week has been the Nationwide House Price Index, which we did cover off in a previous video. So if you haven't yet seen that, please do go back into the channel and take a look at it. Tomorrow, we've got the Halifax House Price Index being released. So there will be an update coming on that tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see how the Halifax House Price Index compares to the Nationwide House Price Index and whether or not the Halifax reported that prices went down recently. One thing I would like to remind everybody is that the Halifax and the Nationwide House Price Indexes are based upon their own client's mortgage data. So the information within them is not as robust as the House Price Index from the Land Registry, but it does give you a real snapshot of what is happening on the ground right now because it is based upon recent mortgage application data. Now this week, we haven't had much movement on lender mortgage rates either. It's been a very quiet week. We have had a couple of very, very slight reductions from the Halifax and Birmingham Midshires, but other than that, no real reports. So what I wanted to do was just take a very quick look at the swap rate chart just to give you an indication of what's going on in the market. So if we take a look on screen, we can see again, as we focus at the top, the red arrows pointing down means that from close of business yesterday to the close of business the day before, rates over the course of the day went down slightly. You can see on the graph here that the two year, the five year and the 10 year rates have gone up slightly today. But I have to be honest, I don't think that's really anything to worry about. You see, because there's not much data coming out about inflation at the moment and the markets are constantly monitoring things like that, all they're looking at is the fact that fuel prices have gone up. If you've been to the petrol pump recently, you'll have noticed that the fuel's gone up that's because the price of oil has gone up mortgage approvals data has shown an increase as well so there's not a huge amount of data when it comes to what inflation is actually doing for the markets to to read into so we do have to wait for those reports to come out next to see if the inflation rate is actually still dropping, which will then be the positive news that the market wants. So the fact that swap rates are fluctuating a little bit at the moment really isn't anything to worry about. If we do scroll down slightly, we can see that as at close of business yesterday, two year at 4.37, it's just a little bit higher than it was at the end of March, but still lower than it was in February. And the same with the five year, that's at 3.8. At the end of March, it was 3.76, but at the end of February, it was 3.9. So the swap rates are fluctuating fluctuating a little bit at the moment. Like I said, nothing to worry about. Really, when we're going to start to see these making the move is when the next set of inflation data is released. So as soon as that happens, I would expect that we're going to see movement on swap rates and then potentially movement on lender rates as well. So all in all, a quiet week this week, nothing really to report, nothing to worry about. It is a case of business as usual. I have to say we are getting a few more mortgage inquiries coming in. People are starting to want to get to understand what their affordability is. People are also starting to get used to the fact that we're now living in a higher interest rate environment. So whilst, yes, the expectation is that over the course of the next couple of years, rates will come down, people are still accepting that they're not going to drop to the levels that they did before. So if you're looking at a mortgage now and you feel that it's affordable right now, then there's nothing to stop you from buying property because we do just simply need to get on with the fact that this is the new sort of level of interest rates that we're going to have to get used to. And hence, this is the mortgage affordability that we're going to have to get used to. Yes, that's had a slight impact on people's aspirations. When money was cheap, people were able to borrow more, which you could almost say was living beyond someone's means, but that's just how the, the lenders calculated what you could borrow. Now interest rates are a little bit higher. Affordability has dropped, so people can't borrow as much. As always, we never ever really recommend to people to borrow up to their maximum capacity anyway. We always try to keep people below it just because if interest rates do fluctuate, it's still affordable if interest rates go up as well as go down. So yes, we are starting to see more inquiries. People are getting used to the affordability at these new high level of interest rates. And I think when we see the Bank of England make that first reduction in the base rate, that's going to be the kick that the mortgage markets needed, I think. That's when we're going to see activity increase even more. And all of those people that have been making inquiries now will actually go ahead and then really start to put their plans into action. So at that point in time, there's a very good chance that it could shift from being a buyer's market right now into a seller's market. And whilst I don't think house prices are going to rocket this year, they could remain at least stable or perhaps go up slightly, maybe by about 5% by the end of the year. So that's my thoughts. All, all in all, it's been a quiet week. I just thought I'd give you a quick update. Hopefully you found it useful. Any thoughts, any comments, any questions, please do drop them below and I will come back to you.